Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here. Welcome to the next episode. You may be here birds chirping, but regardless of the fact, uh, let's go and oh, and see if we can find a way out of here. But first, we're hearing some noises. Let's go see what that is. I think it might be locked from this side. Should we open it up then? Might as well. Open the doors. <laughs> back together. Past time we got out of here and made our way to the roof. There's an elevator just over there. Hmm? But it will move only at Hojo's discretion. Hopefully Hojo is gonna let us out of here. So let's go. Please elevator work. Assuming I can press the button. Okay then, looks like the elevator is working. It appears Hojo's done having his fun. <laughs> Glad to hear he enjoyed the show. Going up. We're back again. Yeah. Hey! Seems like something happened. Let's go see what's going on. Uh, wasn't there something here? What the hell's going on? Who would? We may find out soon. Let's go. Of course, I gotta leave behind this weird purple stuff. Well, but at least it leads a convenient trail, so why not? We don't have anything better to do. Is there? No, I can't go around that. Okay, good to know. Let's head up to the next floor. So what's above this floor? The president's office. And then the roof. I'm sorry if you can hear our birds uh, chirping off their heads right now. Wait. They just never shut up. Once we get in that elevator, there's no turning back. We're ready. Right? Huh? The elevator back there can take us down to the central terminal again. Now's the time for any unfinished business. Yeah, let's head up to the roof. We're ready to do this. Let's go. Here we are, the president's office. We might be able to say hello to President Shinra while we're here. Of course, all this weird purple stuff. Why does it always have to be purple stuff? The executive suite. Hello, any bosses of Shinra here? Up the stairs we go. Now what will lie beyond these doors? Where the hell is that bastard hide? Nothing! Wait, I can hear something. Help! Is anybody there? Yeah, I can hear it too. Hey! This is a sweet ass desk. I would love to have a desk like that. Seems like someone got shoved out this window. Hang on, whoever it is, we're gonna come save the day. After we have a nice little rest on this bench. Hope you don't mind. Is anyone out there? All healed up. Sweet. Here's a bending machine if you also want to buy some stuff. Well, I'm pretty sure we're all, all pretty decked out, so let's go. Help me, please. 
Ah, oh, it's President Please Shinra. I wonder how long he's been hanging there. Okay, this segment's a little weird because it makes you help wait a little bit before you decide to help this well, guy. Well, well, Pull me up. Uh, I'll give you all the money you want. I have killed plenty of it. <laughs> Thing is, I don't want your money. Please. Just let me live. Everything you want can be yours. I'm a man of modest dreams. Dropping you from 70 stories up would get me damn near to good. But not all the way. You want something more, don't you? More than this right here? Talk to me again like you know me. Barrett! Stop it! TV and tell them. Tell them what you did to Sector 7. That it was you who killed all those people. Then, you're gonna tell them the truth about Avalanche. That Avalanche ain't Wu Tao or anybody's puppet. That Avalanche fights for the people, the planet. That we fight to hold Shinra to account for its crimes. That is Avalanche. The filthy sewer rats who brought down a Goliath. You tell them that. Is that really all you want? For your names to be cleared? <laughs> that is what matters most to you? More than shutting down the reactors? Than the future of the planet itself? Huh? Damn! You're lying to yourself even now. Truth, justice, honor, freedom. Vain indulgence is everyone. Picture it. Picture a world without Shinra. Without Mako energy. A stagnant, impotent world. Now picture a natural disaster. Who would help the people? Help them recover and rebuild? You? With their old world ruined, will they thank you for the new? I'm going to give you a chance. <sighs> One last opportunity to consider what your principles are truly worth. But bear in mind that time is of the essence. And what about you, Mr. President? What are your vaunted principles? What principles? Did you understand even a single word of what I told you? I know what I want, and I take it. I take advantage of whatever I can, and discard that which I cannot. There is no room for sentiment or guilt. And Sephiroth says, screw your ideas. You son of a bitch!
the source of everything. Here it is! Genova, the Dreamweaver! A top secret Shinra experiment specimen. Information on it is scarce, but it's believed to be induced hallucina hallucinations. This is one of the few last bosses of the game. I just looked into where we are, and yeah, there's only two chapters left. This is the second to last chapter. I thought there were honestly more chapters. Yeah, so you can slice off the tentacles. I believe that does prevent it from using some of its attacks. I will stun it momentarily from doing anything, allowing you to easily build up the pressure. It will occasionally regrow these tentacles. I believe the tentacles have no weakness whatsoever. So you just have to smash them. It will occasionally cast stop on you to stun you. It's on now. And then it will do this move, which I believe its purpose is supposed to push you away. Okay, now it's stunned again. Let's bring on the pressure. Here it comes. Actually, I'll let Aerith build up a little bit. Okay. Aerith, use Ray of Judgment. I'm paused. Of course, I'm gonna put up a shield. Ow. I think you have to outright block that attack. Oh yeah, and then it will, it will also occasionally close its shell to block your attacks. It's kind of annoying. I honestly don't know what I'm going to use as the uh, thumbnail for this episode. Wow, I... Oh, I thought I sliced off both tentacles in one slice. I'd be like, wow, I'm impressed. Ow. Also, be careful, the back will attack. Good, it's crippled. Let's do this. Uh, I'll hold on to my limit break. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's about to switch phases. So you got these weird ass tentacles. It will do this where it is immune to all your attacks. You have to chop off the tentacles, I believe, to make it re uh, stop defending itself. So that way your attacks can actually do any serious amount of damage. While there are tentacles, it will guard. This one's for you. Enough. And we can finally summon Bahamut to our side. Get him. We got Bahamut here to start kicking ass. Oh, let's see, summon ability. Let's see what Ova strikes are. That's that. That's it. Get him. That does a decent amount of damage. Of course, it just goes back into block mode again. Summon ability. Under, not on the tentacle. I wanted to do it on Genova itself. Too many tentacles are showing up. When will it stop with the tentacles? I thought there was a limit of how many tentacles it could bring out. Keep slicing away those tentacles. Why did I took so much damage? Yes, it's okay. Bahamut's gonna use its ult. Here we go. Let's see what Bahamut's ultimate attack is.
That looks cool. Now for Ascension. Nothing personal. One more shot. Of course, it's not dead yet. Now we gotta watch out because I think the ceiling's gonna constantly drop things that are gonna damage us. Bring an infinity then. It's on now. Yeah, that's in the stun it. As I get frozen in time. Focus on the attack. Give your best shot. Oh, you don't have a full. I was about to say, why can I not use your ATVs? Ray of Judgment. Ready? Not looking good. Let's just cure myself, why don't we? Let's try that again. What a nice heal. And all great. Guys, please do something. I'm coming. Go on. Good stagger. Let's put an end to you. Where's he going? Barrett, are you hurt? Don't think so. This death was not the one ordained for you by fate. Or well, after fighting Genova, Sephiroth has got away with her body, but we'll try and I go after him. I'll see you all in the next episode. And if you have been enjoying my content, do subscribe and I've been that click that bell so that way you can be notified. See you all next time.